Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. My name is Deanna and I'm the owner of Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I'm sitting with among one of my collections of antique teddy bears, seven in all, and I'd like to share that collection with you today. Before I do, I'd like to give you a little history of the teddy bear. As the story goes back in 1902, that at that time, President Teddy Roosevelt was out bear hunting. And bottom line of that story is he had an opportunity to shoot a bear and decided not to shoot it. Well, as that uh, caught fire in the um, news of the day, that bear became known as Teddy's Bear. And because of that and some savvy manufacturer, a production of Teddy Bears started and so that now it's pretty much a given that any kind of stuffed bear is referred to as a Teddy Bear. But my, what I'm drawn to, the, the kind of bears that I'm drawn to, are the early 1900s straw stuffed mohair bears. So that's what six of these are and one other. Now, start here on the right as I share with you what my bears are. Now, most collectors of bears um, were kind of like strange in this way. I guess, but many collectors will dress their bears and name their bears, and I'm no different when it comes to the names. I do have names for all of my bears, and as I told you before, I don't have large collections of things. My collections are based upon the amount of space that I have to display them. But I'm starting with my largest bear here, and I do have him dressed up. I don't dress them all, but he is a large 24 inch and he usually wears these eyeglasses because he sits at a school desk in my family room but I have him clothed here and his name is Rufus he's like I said 24 inches now as the story goes for Rufus and the thing about these bears are if you're a primitive lover you you love the imperfections they become one of a kind and take on a, a personality all their own because of the wear and tear and love that they've been given. This one, if I can get to the area here, as the story goes, where as you can see right there, that scorched area. As the story goes from the lady that I purchased him, she told me that he survived a house fire at one time in his life. So Rufus is pretty special to me and my largest bear. The next bear I'll show you is my smallest. Now he's just a little uh, 10 inch. And his name, I've given him the name Petey. He used to have a growler there, but he no longer growls. These are all straw stuffed and many of them have the shoe button eyes. And the old um, gold colored mohair is what I'm partial to and you will see in primitive pictures and things many times collectors will have them displayed in little doll beds or wagons or baskets or whatever and they really are sought after they have held their value over the years because they are so popular and because of that, it is hard to get them for, at a price point for resale because collectors do buy them up. This next one, his name is Ralph, and he's also straw stub jointed. They're all jointed. Now, Ralph is 17 inches. He also has the shoe button eyes. And he's probably... Um, you can see there his little paw pad. You can see the straw through it. Like I said, they've all got imperfections. There's one here. You can see the straw through it. But I, I don't mind the imperfections. I like it. I think it gives them character. And like I said, it also gives them personality. Now here is the one bear that is not straw stuff that I have in my collection but he is the long-haired mohair and I've named him Harry. I thought that was appropriate. I do have a little black silk tie around his neck and he's got replaced 
pads as you can see he's just a real cutie Harry is a 16 inch bear lay him out of the way now another little small one I do have a little shirt on him because actually most of his mohair is gone he's a real he's kind of almost bald <laughs> And his name is Herman, and he is 12 inches long. Again, join it with, he doesn't have shoe button eyes. He has the little glass eyes there. The next one I have here, his name is Sal. Now, Sal has these great little cloth booty shoes, probably to protect it from um, the straw coming out because the pads are probably gone. I've never taken them off. I've got a little green uh, tie around here. And as you can see, Sal's got a real nose problem. He's probably put his nose in places where it didn't belong. And he is a real cutie. Sal is 18 inches long. And again, I, I try to always group my bears together as I have them on display and I will put them out with different things uh, depending on the season so that is another little added thing that I do with him. Now this last one he's, his name is Sammy and he is known as a stick bear and I think probably because the legs just look like sticks there. He's still jointed mohair with the shoe button eyes. So that's the extent of my teddy bear collection. And like I said, I'm sorry that I really don't have any to show you that I have for sale. I do get them and I do sell them, but they are really hard to come by because most times, like I said, collectors just grab them up because they're so sought after and adorable. So that concludes this um, video on this collection and before I close I would like to direct your attention to the description of my video where you will find links to my web page as well as my online store and where I have items some items listed on eBay and where you can find me on other social media sites I also um, would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am coming close to that 500 mark and I'd really like to hit that benchmark so with your help I can do that. And then I'd also like to invite you to visit me where I sell antiques at my Antique Crossroads um, booth there at Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. I have a double space booth and I sell early 19th, I mean 19th century and early 20th century antiques there. Wide variety. And then finally, let me encourage you to enjoy collecting and enjoy exploring the, um, the whole notion of collecting. Put them on display where you can enjoy them and decorate with them. And then also learn the history behind them because every antique carries with it history. So remember, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. And I will put at the end of this video some little slideshow presentation of how I've used my bears in decorating. So bye-bye till next time.